Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Today I'm going to show you how to change the blades on a Hustler Raptor Zero Turn mower. Let's get started. Now normally to lift the front end so that I can get up underneath the deck, I'll just use a pair of ramps and drive the mower up on them. Or I'll use my, um, I've got a motorcycle lawnmower jack that I'll use that doesn't get up as high as my floor jack. But in order to film up underneath here, I need to uh, get the mower the top front of the mower higher so i've had to use my floor jack and using my floor jack i can't get jack stands under it because it's too tall for my jack stands so i know to use jack stands or at least have it on ramps i just don't have any of that high so don't get after me about that um, whenever you jack the front end of your mower up you need to put uh, chocks under both back tires block of wood or a brick something like that so it doesn't roll back on you in order to do this job you're going to need your new mower blades and I'll leave a link below on a source for your mower blades. You're going to need a 24 millimeter socket and either an impact driver, a pneumatic impact wrench, or a breaker bar and a block of wood. If you don't have an impact driver, you can take a block of wood, wedge it between the blade and the outside perimeter of the mower deck, and then use the breaker bar with the socket to uh, break the bolt loose. It's a whole lot easier to do it with it with the impact driver or a pneumatic impact wrench. So this part's pretty basic. Take your uh, take your impact driver, put it on counterclockwise or reverse, and uh, just get this bolt out. And sometimes they're in there real tight. way it goes together is like this you've got a you got the bolt and you got a washer blade just comes off there's no key or anything like that on this type of mower so then you take your new blade and if you're using like I've got a mulching kit on mine so I've got mulching blades so these go up some blades will tell you grass side down or this side up printed on the blade that kind of thing but uh, almost all of them have a little bit of a turn up here and then you can you can just tell where the normally you can tell where the edge is how it's beveled and that's the top of the blade and then just thread that in there these bolts are right hand threads so it's clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen Get him in there tight, you know, make sure inspect this for any damage or anything like that while you're in here. Take your uh, impact wrench and put it on forward and then just cinch it down. And that'll be fine. Now, if you've got to use a uh, breaker bar, then what you want to do is somewhere in here, get you a, that short block of wood like I showed you. Stick it in here and get the, uh, the end of the blade to wedge up against it and then you can take your breaker bar and turn this break this bolt loose um, depending on who and how tight they put the last set of blades on it might take a little bit so you want to make sure that your jack is real secure um, you don't want to knock it off the jack you want to make sure you're on jack stands or be on ramp something like that because it might take a lot of force to get that bolt broken loose you saw how much it took with the impact driver the other thing that's real good practice to do is when you're up underneath here and you're changing your blades out. You don't have to do it every time or every time you mow, but while you're up under here working on the, changing the blades, it's a good time to scrape the inside of the mower deck and get all the buildup uh, out. Um, I use a plastic putty knife. You can use a steel one if you want, whatever. Uh, but I scrape most of it out, and then a couple times a year I'll spray the underside of the deck with some non-stick and I'll leave a link below for that too but with some um, with coil or something like that that keeps the grass from sticking so bad makes it real easy to clean I'm not gonna do it this time because it's pretty clean so anyway you go on with your all three of your blades just in this fashion and uh, you're done thanks for watching folks I appreciate it give me a thumbs up if you would and uh, click the subscribe button below I hope to see you back soon take care God bless you